Blessed are the peacekeepers, the champions of the just. Blessed are the righteous, the lights in the shadow. In their blood, the Maker's will is written. Is that what you want from us? Blood? To die so that your will is done? Is death your only blessing? You speak Fandraste, no? What does the Maker's prophet have to say about all of this? What's his game? I speak for no one but myself, and I have no answers for you. Then we can only guess at what he wants. The Chantry teaches that the Maker abandoned us. He demands repentance for our sins. He demands it all. Our lives, our deaths. Justinia gave him everything she had, and he let her die. I'm sorry. Her death has clearly hit you hard. Not just me. All of us. She was the Divine. She led the faithful. She was the heart. If the Maker doesn't intervene to save the best of his servants, what good is he? I used to believe I was chosen, just as some say you are. I thought I was fulfilling his purpose for me, working with the Divine, helping people. But now she's dead. It was all for nothing. Serving the Maker meant nothing. I'm not really the best person to talk to. Doesn't the Chantry have people for this? <laughs> so I should let a priest comfort me? No, this is my burden. I regret that I even let you see me like this. It was a moment of weakness. It won't happen again. Come, to work then. We will speak later. There were so many questions surrounding Faria's death. Did he think we wouldn't notice? He killed Faria, one of my best agents, and knows where the others are. You know what must be done. Make it clean. Painless if you can. Wait! What are you doing? He betrayed us. He murdered my agent. And you'd kill him, just like that. You find fault with my decision? I'm sure most of your decisions are fine, but that one, a little extreme. Extreme? Butler's betrayal put our agents in danger. I condemned one man to save dozens. I may not like what I do, but it must be done. I cannot afford the luxury of ideals at a time like this. Now is precisely the time for ideals. You feel very strongly about this. <sighs> very well. I will think of another way to deal with this man. Apriand Butler, but see that he lives. Now if you're happy, I have more work to do. So it's true. Some look to Cassandra or even me as Justinia's successor. I never thought the idea would gain momentum. Of course, with the other candidates out of the picture... Is becoming divine something you really want? <laughs> when Justinia was alive, I would have laughed at anyone who even suggested that I could be her successor. Things have changed. Still, I don't know. Restoring the Chantry will be like trying to steer a sinking vessel through a storm. No one would fault you for abandoning ship, you know. Out of the ship, and straight into the sea. You think Thedas hates mages now? If the Chantry falls, don't you think the people will blame magic? Look at all that's happened. Kirkwall's Chantry, the war, the breach. Mages are always involved. Without the Chantry to guide, that hatred will spiral out of control. No. We don't want that. And the Chantry can see that it doesn't happen. The people are sheep, Inquisitor. They need to follow. But this is a discussion for later. If Corypheus wins, finding a new Divine will be the least of our problems. Sorry to keep you waiting. Good old Leliano was playing you the whole time. Didn't you realize? They never sing the benedictions here on Fridays, Natalie. Something so simple. And you got it so wrong. I wanted to believe, but you were lying from the start. Keep that pretty mouth shut if you must, dear. You've already told me everything I need to know. The prickle with burrs on your hem, talking about the sun rising through the breach. It all points to a single place, 
Morel in the Dells, Grand Cleric Victoire's Bastion. She sent you, didn't she? Victoire was always an opportunist. Good work. We know the name of our enemy. That's half the battle won. Exactly. Kill me then. I am not afraid to die for my beliefs. At least I still know what I believe. Release her, Leliana. She is no threat. The Grand Cleric? She is one woman. We are the Inquisition. The Inquisitor has spoken. Run. Tell your mistress that she has a choice. The Inquisition is coming. Can't be it. There's nothing here. It's not what you expected. That doesn't mean it's nothing. There's a message carved in the lid. The left hand should lay down her burden. She... she's releasing me. The Divine has a long reach, but it is always her left hand that stretches out. A thousand lies, a thousand deaths. Her commands, but my conscience that bore the consequences. Then you have to let it go. Let her go. You don't owe her anything anymore. If it were not for you, I would have killed Natalie and called it a good thing. Thank you for showing me what was right when I couldn't see it for myself. There are things that must be said, but not here. I will see you back at Skyhold. I was pondering who might be divine, and it suddenly occurred to me. Is it so ridiculous for the Grand Clerics to support me? Why shouldn't they? If you were divine, what would you do? Change things. Change everything. Your support of the Mage Rebellion was a good start. We must build on this. No more circles. The Mages will be free. The Chantry will accept them as the Maker's children. In fact, it will accept everyone. Elves, Dwarves, even Canari. Why exclude them? The Chantry allows our differences to tear us apart, instead of teaching us how we are the same. I think you would make a good Divine. I am glad to hear it. Your support may persuade the Grand Clerics to vote in my favor. The Chantry was a beacon of hope to me once, you know. In my years at Lothering's Chantry, we turned no one away from our doors. It was a refuge, a place of peace. I felt the Maker's presence and his love even when they told me he'd left us. This is the Chantry I know, the Chantry I wish the world to see. The world could certainly use the force for good you describe. Yes, the Chantry should be a force for good instead of what it is. The Chantry dictated where it should have inspired. It spoke of judgment instead of acceptance. It should encourage the good in everyone rather than rebuke us for our sins. No one should be turned away from our doors. No one is without worth. Whoever you are, whatever your mistakes, you are loved. Unconditionally, in your heart shall burn an unquenchable flame. <laughs>